One of Oblivion's best qualities were its amazing cities, filled to the brim with awe-inspiring architecture, interesting characters, and new adventures to embark on. At the time of its release, I had never seen cities that were on this scale or so detailed, and they totally blew my mind. However, one of its cities never made it into the final game. This is Oblivion's Cut City. At E3 2005, an early demo of Oblivion was shown publicly, and on the title screen, a city named Such was shown, appearing west of Kavach and north of Anvil. While this was the first time Such had been planned to appear in an Elder Scrolls game, it wasn't the first time it had been teased. Its first reference came all the way back in 1998 for the Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard. One of the official maps released alongside Redguard shows the settlement appearing in a similar location to Oblivion's E3 map. It was then shown in a map from the Morrowind Codex, and again it appeared in the same general area. But this settlement would be cut from Oblivion at some point between E3 2005 and its release the following year. There's no city called such in Oblivion, but there is a dungeon called Fort Such, a location where part of the Dark Brotherhood's questline takes place. The environmental storytelling here seems to imply the city was destroyed and abandoned long ago, but the game files tell a much different story. The first interesting thing about Such is that most forts only have a single cell named after them in the Tamriel world space, but Fort Such unusually has four. One of these cells is called Fort Such Castle Exterior, but there's nothing of significance here in the final game. Perhaps this is where the city's castle was once placed, or maybe there were plans to include a partially destroyed castle by the ruined fort. If you enter the cell Fort Such Exterior 02, dungeon music will strangely be played, rather than a track intended for a wilderness area like you'd expect. This music might be a remnant from when the settlement still existed. The area where Fort Such appears looks different than the rest of the Gold Coast, and the rest of Oblivion's map for that matter. The height map around the dungeon is flat, and has a low density of vegetation when compared to other regions. The lack of vegetation and flat terrain seems to outline where the walls surrounding Such were once placed. It seems they hastily tried to clean up this area, but still left a trace of the city's original footprint. There's one last cell worth mentioning called County Such Docks Exterior. Attempting to use the COC command to warp here will result in either nothing happening or the game crashing, but it can be reached by foot. This area is at the mouth of the river that separates Cyrodiil and Hammerfell, and is to the west of where Such appeared on the E3 map. Just outside this cell, a destroyed ship and dock can still be found. It's possible this abandoned dock was added in after the city's docks were cut. The actual city would have appeared here, while the dock cell is located here, giving you an idea of the county's intended scale. If it had appeared, perhaps there would have been roads, houses, and shops placed between the city and the docks. I suspect that sometime after the city was cut, the Fort Such dungeon was added in so the area wouldn't be completely devoid of content. It's also possible that Fort Such is one of the last remnants of the city, but it's impossible to be sure one way or the other. The particular ruined fort exterior with an enclosed tunnel seen at Fort Such isn't used anywhere else in the game. It's one of the rare examples of an interior in Oblivion that isn't its own separate cell. This stone in Fort Such's courtyard is strangely a mesh rather than a ground texture. This stone mesh is part of a Fort Dungeon exterior kit that seems to have been made very early in development and is only used once in the entire game at this location. But it's difficult to speculate on why these assets were only used in this specific area. There's no information about how the city would have looked or what it would have contained, but we can speculate a bit. An Oblivion Gate appears here during the main questline, which might be a leftover from when the city still existed. 
Each of the Nine Divines has a great chapel in one of the cities of Cyrodiil, except for Kenareth. Perhaps the Great Chapel of Kenareth was slated to appear in such, but was cut alongside it at some point in development. The quest The Wandering Scholar is given to the player by Azen, the leader of the Fighters Guild in Anvil. This quest was apparently made when such still existed, as it's referenced in one of its journal entries. Azen has given me a contract to escort Alante of Eilinor, a scholar doing research on Daedra. I am to meet her at the entrance to Brittle Rock Cave, northeast of Such, and protect her while she explores inside. Such is referenced once again during the quest, Mystery at Harlan's Watch. After completing the quest, the final journal entry reads, Burrsgrove Kosh has paid me the balance of the contract. He tells me that he has no further contracts to offer, but I should speak with Azen and such if I have not already. This seems to imply that Azen was originally the head of the Fighters Guild and such, but was later moved to Anvil when it was cut. It's possible that other NPCs intended for such were moved to other cities after it got the axe. Such is referenced a third time in the book Thief of Virtue. Let me tell the tale of the Thief of Virtue. In the land of Hammerfell, in the city of such, there lived a baron who was quite wealthy. This note mentions that Such is actually in Hammerfell instead of Cyrodiil. The borders of Cyrodiil and Hammerfell shift throughout the series' timeline, so it's possible Such was a part of Hammerfell when this book was written. But no date is provided as to when the book was made, so who knows. By the time Oblivion occurs, the city was a part of Cyrodiil once again, perhaps due to Tiber Septim's unification of the region. It's worth mentioning that such has never been shown as a part of Hammerfell in any official map. It's also possible this book was an attempt to retcon such's location after it was cut. Years after Oblivion's release, Such has been mentioned a number of times in the Elder Scrolls Online. Most of these mentions come from books, and they only provide vague information on the city's lore. According to one note, the citizens of the city-state often dealt with Daedra. Any information introduced in later titles is likely much different than what Oblivion's designers had in mind, though. In the Elder Scrolls Online expansion Dark Brotherhood, the city was once again teased in a map. It's most likely that such was cut due to a lack of time, as Oblivion had many features and ideas that were scrapped during its rush development cycle. Unfortunately, Bethesda did an excellent job at removing nearly every reference to the city, as we discovered every mention of it that I'm aware of. While several mod projects have attempted to restore the city, there's so little content remaining that any attempt at recreating it would always result in something far different than the developer's intentions. What little is left over raises more questions than it answers, and such will likely always remain as one of the most intriguing mysteries in RPG history. This cut city would have made Oblivion into an even better game. Ultimately though, all of this was left on the cutting room floor.